Did you poop this morning? If you didn't, let's talk about it. So there's soluble and insoluble fiber. And if you have any skin issues or autoimmune conditions or hormone issues, you should probably start with a stool test and focus on your gut because our immune system resides in our gut. So that's what we're working on with her right now. I've been a dietitian for four years and I have helped thousands of people with their gut health. So I'm very qualified to talk about this. And if you're interested in learning more about gut health and overall nutrition and debunking all the bullshit, subscribe. I always get chia seeds in my teeth. Chia seeds are really high in insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber is kind of what's going to flush you out. You don't need to stress soluble and insoluble fiber, but understand that all fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, beans have fiber in them, and they are all going to contain soluble parts and insoluble parts. Insoluble fiber is going to really just add water and flush you out. It's primarily in the skins and seeds of fruits and vegetables and whole grains. Chia seeds are primarily insoluble fiber. That's why they make you run to the bathroom. They're a seed. Chia seeds make you shit. Insoluble fiber helps you shit. Soluble fiber is great because it can kind of slow down the digestion because it's going to bind and create a gel and get all the toxins and bad bacteria so you can poop it out. And here's a list to help you. So if you are having issues with constipation right now, maybe go through this list and highlight all the foods that are higher in insoluble fiber than soluble fiber and try to incorporate those in your diet. However, if you're trying to increase your fiber, you need to see where you're at and gradually increase it. Because a lot of people try to increase their fiber and then they're like, oh, I don't tolerate it. And then they quit. Don't do that. Everyone can tolerate fiber, and if you need help with that, you need to talk to your doctor, you can work with me because you can tolerate fiber, you just have to understand how to do it. And some of us are very sensitive to fiber. So there's ways that you can find out how you can tolerate certain fibers. Everyone's gonna be different, but the best piece of advice is slow and steady. So let's say you're getting 15 grams per day. You don't wanna go up to 35. You wanna go up to 20 for a few days, see how you feel. The biggest thing with increasing your fiber is you need to drink enough water. Think about eating more chia seeds. You're eating more chia seeds, but you're not drinking any water. The chia seeds are just gonna get stuck in there, okay? Drink more water. Almonds, nuts, seeds, higher than insoluble. If you're having more diarrhea, it might be a smart idea to incorporate some foods that are higher in soluble fiber. So quick recap, fiber's good for us. Let's say your goal is at least 30 grams of fiber per day for both men and women. 30 to 38 grams of fiber per day is perfect. If you're not there yet, that's okay. You can gradually increase it. I have a lot of advice on my Instagram and I'm going to continue to educate about it on YouTube. And yeah, gut health is really confusing. So I hope I can help bring some clarity to it for you. Bye.